I love Boston, <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to come out here yeah, have a good effort, you know? Yeah. What was your, what was your strategy on that today? Uh, I mean, just get a hard effort, and really, like, we planned, I mean, the other guys did a workout in the morning, and we just planned to do this as a hard get out for me, and like, get used to running with people again, you know, get some more high end stuff in, and just really just string it out, don't leave it to a kick, because we haven't prepared for speed or anything as such just yet. I just wanted to, you know, feel good run hard and I felt really good so I sprung it open and just wanted to bring my teammates with me but it didn't happen and in the end we just we just took off and felt good so yeah. were you surprised how, how easily you were able to get the field today yeah definitely I thought I mean because Providence have a really strong team I was like some of them they're gonna come with me so I was just like looking around going around the corners checking see them and I was just I was like why is nobody with me because I didn't feel too hard I felt like quite controlled so I was like surely someone should be able to stick with this but Guess not. So, did you guys hold out some runners today, or what was your squad? Like, who'd you hold out? Uh, we held out Andrew Rono, Jack Bruce, and Austin Dahlquist. Um, I mean, they just wanted to get in more training and do a little bit higher volume because they respond better to that. I wanted to run a little bit harder, get a bit of a, you know, more anaerobic workout in, so that's why I did this because I respond better to the uh, faster stuff. But, I mean, yeah, those are the guys, so. What do you have goal? What are your goals? You know, looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, I mean, we'd like to, as a team, do well at pre nats and like I'd obviously like to run well there. I'm not sure what sort of place I'd like to get, but just have fun there almost. And SECs, we all, I mean, everyone on our team sort of wants to win it individually and eventually win it as a team. So we're probably gonna have a battle around our home course for that one. Then NCAs, everyone wants to be all American. So it's, I mean, that'd be the ultimate aim, but. That depends a lot on the day. I mean, it's a tough, tough meet. You know, I've been there two, twice and bombed. So, you know. You got. I mean, you guys were uh, six last year. Is that right? In yep. I mean, do you talk about wanting to get on the podium? Is that a big goal for you guys? Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, we've not. Re I mean, we lost Gabe Gonzalez, but we replaced him with Andrew Rono around 28:30 on the track. So he's going to be a pretty handy runner. I mean, Jack's improved a lot from last year. Same with Austin. All around, the entire team's a lot better than what they were last year so if we can just you know all have a good day then the podium would be nicer. Yeah I mean how, how good do you think Rono can be with just you know that was his first year running for you guys that's an incredible type of track here. how good do you think he can be this for? I think he can surprise a lot of people I mean he's he's really tough like he can run uphill change surface anything and he's not he's not bothered by it he just likes to make people hurt really and like like he doesn't really know that he can't run as hard as he can like he came off hardly any training, probably like three or four weeks of solid surface running and runs 28.30. So for him to, you know, go out on a cross country course after having like a reasonable summer training, it's probably going to be, it's going to be pretty interesting. Oh, looking forward to it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.